So now I'd kind of like to talk a little bit about managing strings between your animator and your player controller script. So when you add in parameters here, they're going to have a string name and that string name needs to match whatever you have set up inside of your scripts. So when you set bool is moving, it has to be exactly like it is in that animator component. Now, you might also be creating a bunch of enemies that have similarly named parameters across your game. And if you keep having to manually type in strings like this every time you use them, it can become really easy to make a typo or for things to kind of go wrong. So what I actually like to do is to create a separate c -sharp script that will store all of the strings I use across my animator components in the game. That way, I only have to check a single place to see if the string is correct. I don't have to dive into each of my game objects. I just type once and forget about it. And then whenever we reference those strings in places like the player controller script, we're just referencing a variable. So that's guaranteed to link back to the player animation string script. So inside of Visual Studio, I'm going to right click on our scripts folder in the project and add in a new C -sharp script. For the name, I will call this animation strings and hit add. Let's get rid of the namespace and the extra curly bracket there. So now that we have this class set up, I just want to create a bunch of static string variables we can reference across our project. So in player controller, where we have the strings hard coded in here, I'm going to take the value here, select it, control X to cut it away. And I'm going to type animation strings dot is moving. So whenever we are talking about if a character is moving or not, we're just going to use this string value. So I'm going to control period to generate a field. And then I'm going to right click on the name of this field, go to definition, and you can see we have a static string. So a static is going to have one instance on our game, which is what we want because we want this variable to be referenced with the same name, no matter where we have it. So I'm going to have this value set equal to the is moving that we had before. So just Control V pasting that in there. And now we have one place to manage this string value across our entire project. So I'm going to do the same thing with is running. I'm going to select this. I'm going to cut it away. Animation strings dot is running. I'm going to control period to generate the field. I'm going to right click on the name, go to definition. And then that's equals and I'll just paste it in the is running string. So I think this is helpful if you want to keep your naming consistent between the different characters in your game. Obviously, other characters like a knight enemy might be able to run as well. So using the same variable names for that will help keep your animators organized. So you'll be able to look at one of your animators and you'll know which property responds to which because you kept a consistent naming scheme. Also, if you just keep referencing the string value here, if you have other places on your player controller script, you need it using the same reference to the string value means that the actual value is going to be the same whenever you reference it. So obviously not required, but I find it to be a pretty clean way of managing strings on your Unity project. So this is where I'm going to be putting all of the future animation strings. And trust me, by the end, there will be quite a few just from the complexity of a 2D platformer controller. There's a lot of states to manage. So there's going to be a lot of animation strings that need to go into the animator.